Hello and welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel in our beautiful studio. It's never going to get old, this studio. No. I mean, it actually might, I guess. <laughs> but I love it, don't you? I love it. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> anyway, obviously I'm Gemma. Maybe it's not obvious, but I think it's obvious that I'm Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sally. And I'm Dane. <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> that was very Blue Peter, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> We're here to show you a delicious summery cupcake because summer for me means strawberries. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Mm. As soon as summer hits, I'm like, right, what do I need? Asparagus, but we can't really put those <laughs> on a cupcake. <laughs> strawberries. I'm all like, out to the supermarket, where's those British strawberries? And there they are. Oh, we've got some Oh, we got, here. we got some mm. here. They're really fresh They already and juicy. smell it. You can just smell them just being on the table. They're they, beautiful. They are. And like, there's loads of differing op opinions on what goes best with strawberries, but... I think it's mint. What Sally do you think? It, well, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I think mint and strawberry is a delicious mm, combo. I think yeah. smell. Mm, it's smell. great. Mm. So oh. refreshing. So refreshing. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, this cupcake is going to be a strawberry and mint cupcake. Oh, but it's not any strawberry, No, is it? it's not just oh, any no. old strawberry. So my new favourite thing to do is to roast strawberries. It's Literally um, every day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I really am, roasting strawberries every day. <laughs> That's what I like to do. So it's going to be a roasted strawberry sponge. Jane's going to get those strawberries roasted. Yeah. What are you doing? I am going to be making an Italian meringue, but we're going to make it minty. So it's going to be like this super refreshing, light... Oh, it's just going to be amazing in your mouth. This cupcake is amazing. It really is. Amazing in your mouth. <laughs> Sally's catchphrase. <laughs> Right, well, you better get on with the roasting because yeah, I want to smell those roasty, juicy smells. Yeah, they'll be in about 30 minutes. All right, well, see you then. <laughs> <laughs> see you then. Right, let's get on with the strawberries. So the first thing, I've got 750 grams of fresh strawberries here. I've washed them and I took the green um, bit out of the top and I just used a small knife and just dug around to just take that kind of harder white bit out of the middle. And then I've just got 30 grams of sugar here and it's going to pour it over the top to macerate them. And macerating them just means that it's going to pull out all of those lovely juices from the strawberries. That's done, they're looking nice and shiny. And I'm just going to pop them on a baking tray, just like so, and just spread them out a little bit. And they're going to go in the oven at 150 degrees for 30 minutes. Right, so now onto the crystallized mint leaves. These could not be easier, but they are so tasty to make and they look really beautiful and elegant. So all I've got here is some fresh mint leaves. And what I'm gonna do is just pick off the leaves and place them on this baking tray that is lined with a little bit of greaseproof paper. So I need 12 leaves, I've done a couple of extra ones. And then we're gonna use some egg whites. I've got like one egg white here and with a small whisk, I'm just gonna whisk it up until it starts to go really frothy. Bam, so that's all frothy. And I'm just gonna switch to a small paintbrush. And what we're gonna do is just brush on the mint leaves until they're nicely coated with egg white. And then next is the sugar. So I'm just gonna pop one leaf. We could do a couple of leaves at a time. Just pop them in like so. And then I'm just gonna grab some sugar and pop it on top. And then what I'll do is press down just so that the other side is coated, lift it up, give it a little shake, and that's your crystallized mint leaf. We'll just pop it back on the paper and we'll do the rest of them. That's all the mint leaves done. So I'm just gonna leave these to the side to set up. They'll probably take a couple of hours just to harden and back to the strawberries. So I've got some here that I prepared earlier. And I've got the strawberries and the juice. And what I did is I just took them out of the oven and then set them in a sieve over a bowl and let the juice drain for about 30 minutes, as long as possible, really. And then this is what you're left with. You've got the juice, which is super thick and syrupy. You could do anything you want with this. Make, like, fizzy strawberry soda or put it over ice cream, whatever you want. Mix it into meringues. And then you've got the strawberries here, which I'm going to whiz up because Gemma needs these for the sponge. So I'm going to put them all in a food processor and then blitz them up until they're really smooth. They are nice and smooth and they're smelling amazing. The roastedness really is the great part about this recipe. 
So I'm just going to pop these back into the bowl because Gemma needs them in just a moment to make the cupcake sponge, but she is going to show you how that is done. Mm, still a little bit in here, but that's fine because I'll eat it in a moment. Anyway, Gemma, here you go. Thanks, There's the strawberries. Oh. You're welcome. Oh, so good. Look at the colour on that. Actually, it's, it's blending in with the bowl. Pink inside of the bowl. Oh, I love it. I would just eat that. But I won't because I'm going to sponge it. So I'll leave that to one side for now because we'll just add that later. Now this is just going to be based on our classic all-in-one basic sponge recipe, but I'm going to be rippling this lovely strawberry goo through it. So to start with, I'm going to sift my dry ingredients directly into my bowl. So I have 125 grams of self-raising flour, 125 grams of caster sugar. Then I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and a pinch of salt. And I'm going to shuffle that through. And now I have 125 grams of really soft, smushy butter. That's going in as well. Always use unsalted butter as well because then you can control the salt levels in your beaks. That's my top tip on butter, apart from the softness. And lastly, two large free range eggs. Plop and plop. I have been practicing the Sally method of doing two cracks into one bowl with like a hand each, but I'm just still not, even though after all these years, I'm just still not very good at it. So I'll leave that to her. Anyway, let's get this paddle on and get this beating for about 30 seconds on a kind of medium-ish speed, just so I bring it all together. All right, so once I've had 30 seconds, you can add the milk. I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of good old whole milk and then just Put that back onto a medium speed and give it another beating for another 30 seconds. Just giving it the old stop and scrape, don't mind me. And that'll do. You don't want to miss any bits, you know. So this is my lovely smooth cake batter and it's looking pretty light and floofy, but doesn't look very strawberry-y at the moment. And there's one way to remedy that, and that is to add some of this delicious strawberry goo. So, I want this to be rippled. I don't want this to be mixed through thoroughly. So what I'm going to do is grab a tablespoon, and I'll probably add maybe, start off with one or two tablespoons, and then just rough it up, I guess, with my spoons as I scoop the batter out. So I'm really trying hard not to work this strawberry goo through the batter too much because I want to get those little pockets of strawberry in the sponge when I bite it later. Ooh. And if you feel like you're getting a little bit low on the goo, then like I am kind of right now, just add a bit more and see how you get on. All right, that's all my batter in. Now, little Sally Dell, she said that she was gonna bake me cakes for me at 170 degrees C for 18 to 20 minutes, please, madam. Absolutely. Thank right, you. that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, these guys, look, mm, smell incredible. In they go, 18 minutes, and now we can get on with making our Italian meringue, our minty Italian meringue. Now, we tried to do something kind of fancy by like infusing the sugar syrup with mint, but it didn't actually make it all that minty, so we're actually going to use some fresh mint that we're just going to chop up really finely and put that into the Italian meringue at the end. So let's make said Italian meringue. The first thing that we need to do is get our sugar syrup going. So in this saucepan, I've got 235 grams of caster sugar, and I'm going to pop in 20 grams of glucose along with 80 ml of water. And then we're going to turn the hob on to a medium to high heat and we're going to pop our sugar thermometer into the saucepan and wait till it reads 114 degrees C. So now that's at 114, we're going to keep it going until it gets to 118. But now it is time to whip up our egg whites. So I've got 100 grams of egg whites here and I'm going to pour it into this bowl. I cleaned this bowl with a bit of vinegar just to get rid of any fat. And we're going to turn it on to a medium to high speed until it's soft, frothy peaks. So now that this is at temperature, I've turned the mixer down just a little bit and I'm going to very, very carefully pour the sugar syrup down the side of the bowl and I'm going to keep the whisk going until all of the syrup is combined. 
and now we can turn the mixer back up to a really high speed and we're just going to leave him to whip up until it's cool to the touch. It's going to be really thick, really glossy, really sticky and really delicious. Alrighty, so this is looking amazing. It is so sticky and gooey. Mmm, delish. Now whilst that was whipping, I cut up some mint really, really finely. I didn't put too much of it on camera because I'm not very good at chopping things and I was a bit nervous. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in about this much, well like a couple of tablespoons of the mint. I'm going to mix that through and we're just going to see if it's minty enough. And we get to do that by tasting. I have a little spoon over here. I think it can take a bit more. I'm actually going to put about the same amount in. Mm. It looks kind of cool too. It looks almost like chocolate chip or like stracciatella or something. Mmm, that is delicious. Now I just need some cupcakes and some goo and some mint leaves and maybe some friends. I'll be your friend. Oh. Good job, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my goo and my cupcakes, miss. And I've got oh, the strawberries and the mint. Nice. Oh, brillos. Well, let me chuck this. Mmm, that smells so yeah, nice. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I made a bit of a mess. <laughs> What's <Standard>. you there? <laughs> <laughs> right, why don't I pass that to you actually, oh, yes, and you can thanks. fill that. Fabulous. Well, you should have these because you yeah, need to make these holes yeah, yeah. so that I can it's fill very them. Very exciting, isn't Grab it? Grab my little tiny scissors from the back there. <laughs> <laughs> Teeny right, weeny. Right, so I'm going to chop some holes. Go this and then, side. Okay, <laughs> and then Gemma's going to fill them with the remaining delicious strawberry goo. All right. Good at that, Sally. Oh, thanks. Look, I also got little things we can eat later. But <laughs> honestly, the little bits you take out of the middle of the cupcake oh, are every are one of our guilty pleasures. Yeah. Like, <laughs> save them always. Oh, delish. <laughs> right, slide them on down the bar. Aww. Make them look pretty, Dane. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, so I've got the round nozzle in here. It's going to pipe away. Oh, the king of the round nozzle. Thank you very much. But I need a um, receptacle to put my goo okay. in because I want to put a little bit of goo in. She's literally so demanding. So demanding. I require divots immediately. <laughs> well, I'm going to give you divots with a little <laughs> teaspoon. I'm just going to go in here and do a little scoop. Oh, nice. Oh. You are obviously really good at divots as well. <laughs> Divot Dane. <laughs> Divot Dane. That's my new nickname. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> These divots are just perfect vessels for my um, goo, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little blob of it. Oh, look at that colour. Oh, it's so nice against the white. Oh. Beautiful. Hi, Dan. <laughs> yeah, your turn. <laughs> I'm already predicting these are going to be a right mess to eat, especially yes. for old big old babies. <laughs> oh, no, they'll be great because we'll just put it all in at once. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, so we've got the uh, crystallised mint leaves that they made and they look absolutely gorgeous and they're really hard as well. And we've just got some half chopped strawberries here and we're going to put one in each cupcake. Oh, that looks so cute. Well done. These look so sweet. And what a team <laughs> effort, guys. Yep. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> what do you reckon? Do you reckon it's um, biting time? I think biting so. time? <laughs> you can't eat it, you can only bite it. I'm just going to make a tooth impression and then throw it in the bin. I'm not really, I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going to eat it. Oh, should we all have one each? I'm going for it. Yeah, I'm not all sharing right. my cupcake. Well, oh my gosh, they're so squishy. Like, yeah. Look so at this. squishy. Because they've got all that lovely strawberry inside. It's all like squishy. Mm. <gasps> Sally's already got hers oh. naked. 
Mm. This is going to be so messy. I actually am a bit scared of this. Okay. So Here we go. <laughs> go for it. Mmm. Hold on. Mmm. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> that strawberry it. filling. Mm. The mint really comes through in the icing too. It really does. Like, like Sally said, we tried a bunch of different things to get mint, like that natural mint flavour in. This mm -hmm. is the only way it worked. I just put some mint in it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it simple. Oh, oh it's so good. This is lush. And the icing, like you could go ahead and toast it if you wanted. It's so nice, not yeah. toasted though. It's so nice. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because to toasting it really overpowers. Sometimes overpowers it. Mm. it, makes it too caramelly. Yeah. But this is. Just it's really nice. light as well. Like it goes really well with the kind of bite of the sponge. You know what I mean? It's not I too kind of heavy. I do. It's really light. It's really refreshing. Mm. And that mint leaf is really good too. Oh, yeah. hang on. Let's get our crunch on. <laughs> oh, mm. is that like mukbang? <laughs> sure. The cupcake Gem and Mukbang channel, so it's not. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> if you <laughs> want it to become that. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> anyway, moving on swiftly from this awkwardness, what have we got next week? Well, next week. Sorry, I should have come back oh, sorry. to you. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. Okay, Next, okay. we've got those bundt cakes that I'm making. Mm. Chocolate bundt cakes. They are absolutely very decadent and the most squishy, dense fudge cake you'll ever make in your life. It's actually quite true. Yeah. That sounds delicious. They really are delicious. Well, as usual, if you make these or any of our recipes or just if you bake anything, then tag us <laughs> over on Instagram <laughs> using hashtag Cupcake Gemma because we love seeing what you guys are up to, uh, especially if you do bake something that we make. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the preferable scenario. Yeah, totally. And keep letting us know um, what you think about this video in the comments below. And if you like it, Please give it a oh, thumbs yeah. up um, mm -hmm. and share it with someone that you think might like it as well because the more likes and shares we get, the more it kind of spreads us through the it YouTube really, universe. It really it does helps. make yeah. a difference, Keeps actually. Yeah. You might not think it does, that little thumbs up, but it mm -hmm. does. It, just, it does also break our hearts when we get a thumbs down. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> <laughs> but if you could just avoid that bit. I feel like the ones that we get are just slips. I think so. Yeah, I can't, I can't just imagine just why anyone would not you like. like this? <laughs> this? I know. This is a perfect picture. Well, anyway, as usual, thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back next week and we love you guys and we love these cakes, so get making them. Maybe we'll try and get them in C&D Soho. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Um, yeah? This I week think the guys would really committed. like that. Uh, this weekend, C&D Soho. Let's do it. Go get these. <laughs> she hasn't actually discussed this with any of the baking team, but I'm sure they're going to be really there, so I mean. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 That's what you're doing this weekend! They're oh, in else. the shop. They'll be there. You heard it here. From the, the boss boss. <laughs> I'm just going to keep eating my cupcake, you guys. <laughs> Me too. Oh, I'm, I'm nearly done. I was carrying on mm. while you were talking. Oh my god, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs>